All right, we have our Christmas cookie cutters on our wax paper. I'm just gonna spray them with a little bit of this cooking spray. It has no artificial preservatives, flavors, or colors. And we're just gonna do a light spray on each one. Beautiful. Now I'm gonna come in with our special dark Hershey's chocolate bar, and we are gonna go ahead and cut the tip of our chocolate bar wrapper off, and we are gonna pour that melted chocolate right into our greased cookie cutters. Oh, it smells so good. Now you could use whatever chocolate you like. You could do a white chocolate or a milk chocolate, but my family really likes dark chocolate, so that's what I'm sticking with, okay? Let's fill up this gingerbread. Just super quickly get all of that melted chocolate in there. Okay, now it's time to make these even more delicious. I have some fresh raspberries. Oh yeah. And we are gonna go ahead and just place that right on top of our chocolate, just like this in our snowman. Look how cute that is. Wow, this looks so cool, babe. Yes. And we're just making it so festive with that snowman cookie cutter. So cute, you can use any shape you like. I just have the snowman, the Christmas tree, the gingerbread man, and the candy cane. Okay, that looks good. And I think I am going to do raspberries on the candy cane as well, because they just fit so perfectly like that. Look how cute. Now for my other two, I have something extra special. My favorite with chocolate, strawberries. And I already sliced these up super thin. So we're gonna go ahead and just grab our slices and place them right into our cookie cutter as best as you can. It doesn't need to be perfect. That, oh, I love it. Okay. let's. Put some strawberries on our gingerbread man. Beautiful, ooh, yummy. I wish I could just eat them right now, but we're not done. Okay, this is optional, but I have these almond slices, and yep, we are gonna add these right on top of our little chocolate fruit cookie cutters. Oh my goodness, this is gonna be delicious. Oh, a little crunch, a little sweetness, a little tartness. The ultimate little Christmas treat. Just sprinkles right on there. And you could do a peanut, you could do a pistachio, a walnut, whatever nut you like. I just love almonds and I love these little slivers because they're just the perfect amount of crunch. Not too much, doesn't break your teeth, but so adorable. Okay, now I did boil two of my chocolate bars, so we're gonna go ahead and grab our second bar and do the same thing we did. Cut the tip off. We're gonna make it a little bit smaller. We're just gonna do a nice little drizzle right on top. Look, it kinda looks like the garland on the Christmas tree. Ooh, and that'll hold all those almonds in place too. Yeah, exactly. These Ooh. actually look so festive and delicious. Just wait till we pop them out of these cookie cutters. That's why we had to spray them. Okay, that is beautiful. All right, we're just gonna pop these in the fridge for one hour and then they're gonna be ready to enjoy. Look at our little holiday chocolates. Ooh, they're so cute. Okay, let's go ahead and this should just come right off. And then we are gonna just very gently push our chocolate out of our cookie cutter. Just like so. And look, we have a little strawberry dark chocolate gingerbread man and we're gonna put it right on our Christmas 
platter. Isn't that, that so looks, fun? That's so cute. It actually came out really nicely. Yeah. So the best part about this is you can just press it very, very slightly and it will just pop right out. Whew. Hmm. This is why you cool them. Yeah. Look how great these came out. Okay, we're gonna just decorate this a little bit with just our, you know, candy cane kisses, just so that it's more full. Obviously, you could make uh, a couple batches of these chocolates and have them for a holiday party. It's time to taste test. And personally, I am a strawberry chocolate girl, so let's go for this gingerbread man. And I'm gonna go for the head. Mmm. Mmm. Is it good? Perfection. Mmm. 